guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're interested in seeing how I got this color, then keep on watching. We're starting off this tutorial with the Kiss Semi Permanent color in the shade Lime Green, and I'm just adding this to some boiling water and I'm mixing it out with my comb. So we're using one bottle and what I did because I wanted two colors on the unit, I put the unit in a ponytail and I'm just going to dye the roots all the way up to where the rubber band is on the ponytail and then the ends I'm going to put in yellow. But from the root upwards, it's gonna be green. And as you can see, there's a rubber band holding the hair and I'm just dipping the hair into the water and this took me under five minutes because it took the color fast and guys please wear, wear some gloves I did not wear any gloves and my hands were really stained at the end of this dyeing process and you you have to try and get that dye evenly in the hair some parts of the hair I kind of missed because of the rubber band I wasn't able to like comb through the hair but I really tried to get the color everywhere and before placing the hair into the color I sprayed my lace where it got to be free spray and I blowed it with a blow dryer just so the lace would not be stained by the color. But you're gonna comb the hair out as much as possible, try to saturate the entire hair with the color and then we're taking the color out after I, well I thought I got the desired shade and after looking at it I felt like I needed more green so I went back in with another bottle of the same color and I'm just dipping the hair until I get the color that I wanted. Here absorbs the color and I got the desired look that I wanted. I'm taking it out and then I'm just doing the same process and I'm using the kiss dye for the yellow color and I'm just going to add that to some clean water and the dye is called electric yellow and I'm just adding that to some clean water and this yellow guys this yellow stains a lot like my whole fingers were like all my fingers were yellow and I'm just adding that in and this dye is really strong like it was messing up everything this dye is really strong and guys yes I go in and I shake that bottle out because we have to get every bit of our money, okay? And yeah, I'm just mixing that up and then I'm going to just dip the ends off the hair. And with the yellow dye, it changed really fast. So I had the ends in there like for a minute. I did not go for five minutes because as soon as I put the hair in, it got the color and it was really yellow fast. So I didn't want the yellow to be like extremely yellow yellow. I still wanted it to be kind of pastel. So I did this for like a minute and then I took it out and afterwards I just removed the rubber band and I went ahead and allowed the hair to dry. Oh no, I conditioned the hair. Sorry, you don't have to condition it because you want the color to like be stronger. But I went and I got some conditioner and I just washed the hair out just to get it soft again because of all the colors that I placed on it. It's up to you if you want to wash it out or not, but I added some conditioner and rinsed the hair out and I placed it on my mannequin and I allowed the hair to air dry. This hair, the frontal came like pre-plucked so I really didn't have to do a lot of plucking. I did my plucking off camera. I didn't do it on camera because I'm still new to installing like my own unit so it's taking me some time so when I think I'm confident enough I'll show you guys exactly how I do it and that's the color right there it looks amazing I was really impressed at how it came out and I just left it to ear dry and I plucked the lace plucked the frontal off camera and yeah that's basically it and after the hair was dry that's what it looked like and I went in with a curling wand and I just parted the hair in sections. I decided I wanted to have a side part. So I pre-parted my hair before curling it. And then I just went in and I parted the hair in little sections. And I curled each section. 
all the way up and guys at the end of the video the curls that I originally had weren't the curls that were there because I curled my hair up guys and I had to go to work so I went to work and I wore my hair up for like a day and a half before I actually let the curls down if that makes sense but yes I curled the hair all the way up that's what I did I really like the curls that I got at first with the wands and I think if I had worn my hair down and started the same day the curls would have been better but still the hair is like really fire and I'm really proud of myself like the watercolor method is really easy guys and y'all can try this out you can use the same colors that I use or you could use whatever colors you prefer but it's pretty simple and it's pretty self-explanatory and that's basically it so like that's basically it and to do my install I did not glue it down because I didn't have any glue and I'm gonna order the bold hold glue but for now I'm using what I have I use the got to be free spray and guys that spray it works because I had my hair down and it melted and it lasted me like two two and a half days and then the lace you know started lifting up just a little bit and I just added more but the got to be free spray is bomb and it melts in the lace just the same as the glue almost the same but I mean it was good okay so that's really basically it guys if you have not subscribed to my channel yet then what are you waiting on please go down below and subscribe like please stop subscribe sis like look at this color look at these curls like you don't want to miss anything please go down below and subscribe and turn your post notifications on be a part of the family like I really love you guys so much and I thank each and every one of you for following me well for subscribing to my youtube channel and just being with me on my journey and that's basically it i installed the hair off camera i'll catch you in my next one guys i love you guys so much Mwah.